Hey guys, this is Ninja 0 here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Xcube Store. Um, it's a little bit more complicated. We're going to be getting our coordinates um, and a few other little things. Um, but this is a little bit more complicated. If you didn't see my first Xcube Store video, you should check that out. Link in cards and end cards so you can go do what you guys want. So we're going to assume that you um, just know and watch that video. If you didn't watch that, you have to. I would recommend watching it. You don't need to, but we do go over some basic uses of it, etc. Uh, now we're going over a little bit more complicated stuff. Like you can see right now, we have our coordinates displaying onto our action bar, um, and there is actually a score um, for each. Um, uh, different value. Um, it only uses four. You could be a little bit more conservative with this if it's a single player, but this is the best design for multiplayer. I didn't set it up multiplayer because I'm not. I didn't want to, but it does. It can easily be set up to work with multiplayer, and you can of course. It, it works, guys. All right, this isn't fake. Here's a fifty negative fifty 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 equal negative fifty. It's just slightly off for whatever reason coordinates so uh, first thing you want to do is just watch that first video um, after you do that you want to click the like button okay now that I plugged let's get into how you actually do this what we're doing is we are execute storing the result into a score that's pretty basic um, and we're running a data get now this where it gets complicated we're getting something particular we're getting the first number of the pause. So if I were to run this, just this little bit, the XQ get up heat. Um, if I just run this, it will give me all my all this crazy amount of data. Now you can use this to limit stuff. So if I rate pause, you can see it's right here. It will give me. It will return me certain values. It will return me my X, Y, and Z. That's my position. Um, now you'll notice it's in something called I don't know what they call it in. Um, it's called an array I believe in Java it's called a list in Python um, and it's basically a set of data like a set of numbers or strings or whatever in a particular order so in this order it's XYZ now this is actually super similar for the way Python gets um, the Python programming language Java is also a programming language you guys should know that um, but by the way it gets its values so in Python you name the list you put it in some square brackets and you write the index I'm, and the index refers to the place so 0 is the first because 0 is 0 then they have 1 is the second item 2 is 3 yeah it goes on um, and that's actually super useful in Python if you just need to store some data or like if you want to split a string or whatever um, strings are awesome in that case you can split it um, but anyways so what it you do is you put the parenthesis and a zero so here we're just in the Python shell real quick so my list is equal to this is just Python um, if I do my list which will we we can pretend it's pause if I do the first value which is zero you'll see mess it up my list zero it will return the ver first value. Um, you could also name it, for example, this is kind of ironic. Pause, and it maybe we're at zero, zero, zero. Then use it in that same method. But if you go out of range, it will break. Just like this, it will break. What I find interesting is it calls it a list. And of course, it doesn't have to be paused. You could use motion. Uh, which is a little bit hard to show because I enter that while I'm standing still. Now, say you wanted to use something like find out what item it is. So, in case you didn't know, you summon granite by using um, it's in brackets. You say item, and then you list what type of item it is, uh, which it's ID and it's count. Um, what you would do then is you write dot if it's like if it's colon something else. So, if you have like Pokemon Go colon despacito so if you have like this it's very so there's lots of examples of it um, 
then you use a period to show that. So in this, we'll get its ID, and we if we turn the string, you can't really use the string, but you can always use something like count, for example, to get one byte. Um, if we were to add more granite into that, you'll see it increases. Um, so. Yep, works perfectly. Now, say we add this item, which is a diamond sword. Um, we can do basic stuff like get its count, you know. Uh, but you can also do some more complicated stuff. So we can do dot tag to see its tags. Well, it goes enchantment, and then it goes sharpness. So what we'd actually do, if we wanted to figure out what level of sharpness it in, that's just him, by the way. We we do tag dot enchantments. First item, we're doing the first enchantment. Dot level should work. There you go. Now say we have we add knockback to it, so now it has uh, you know knockback. So if I get the enchantments, you can see knockback five is the second item. We could do one because zero you have to include zero. Dot level or maybe dot id something like that, and you can see it works incredibly well so you can just keep stacking these until you get the one you want um, and this is incredibly useful uh, it's it works pretty great uh, there's a few things I would like to be changed with it um, but honestly I think this is great for this is a lot more functionality than we had before so it's pretty awesome it's 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 well really easy to understand again it's uh, for a list which is if it's in the the square brackets it's square brackets and then the number of how many other items are in it for example one two you can see we have one uh, one little thing and you can tell these are called dictionaries in Python where it's just like a little bit of JSON or whatever I don't know um, where it's just one item and then the second item you can tell usually because it's separated by a comma and then it ends off usually it's just curly brackets it could be like numbers again or it could be strings it's really anything um, and then of course if it's curly brackets it's dot something um, and if it starts off started off you know with nothing before that um, but that's pretty much it if this tutorial helped you in any way be sure to click like uh, leave a comment if you need any help with anything feel free to join the discord server there's a better chance that you'll get support if you do, um, and of course it's easier for me, because I have other people who can help you out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in another one, guys. Thanks. Bye.